Hello, this is Paul Bo Brookins, and welcome back to Let's Play Eco Quest. Let's get out of this uh, crazy cave. Uh, remember, in the last video, we just uh, found the radioactive stuff. We built a transmitter, like our dad said, and now we can go up here because uh, the, all the bottles are gone. This is a cool looking place. There's a, a, a harpoon looking thing. Uh, that's a scary looking mountain. Adam is swimming in front of a huge, strange cavern. At the distance, an undersea mountain rises to a peak. A black cave mouth, uh, mouth scars the mountain. A nearby sunken boat juts from a coral cave. So that's probably where the bad guy lives. If you follow your tropes at all. Uh, we need to go in here, probably. I'm recording this on July 6th, and I'm also eating peanut butter pie that's left over from 4th of July. It's uh, so good. My uh, wife's dad makes it. Oh, speak of the devil, she's calling me. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, she needed to see if I found something. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm eating this peanut butter pie, and it's super good. It's stuck. The cable's really wedged in there. All right, well, we know what to do with stuck things. Oh, dig on it. There we go. Adam, I don't like the looks of it here. Shut up, dork. Uh, why are you swimming so far away? What's the matter with you? The prophecy's been right so far. I know, but I feel sort of funny, like something's watching us. Don't be such a baby. Wow, take a look at that cave and this ship. I think it's a whaling vessel. Uh, Adam. What is it? Behind you! Oh, eyeballs. Flesh Eater, run! Is this the same music from Laura Bow? You have to run. Adam and Delphinus flee in terror from the huge flushing monster. Uh, I don't like this. Did I do something wrong? I thought I was supposed to open that door. I don't know. I don't know if this game kills you like most Sierra games do. This is a children's game. With the feeling of utter helplessness, Adam prepares to feel the sharp bite of flesh eaters' jaws. The monster is so close uh, that his hot wake ruffles the back of Adam's neck. Oh, here we're in the net. Oh no! In their panic terror of the danger behind them, Adam and Delphinius fail to notice the danger in front of them. They plow headfirst into the drift net. The nylon mesh wraps its arms around them. The two are trapped. Delphinius, we're trapped! <laughs> Thanks for telling us what the narrator did as well. Adam, you gotta save yourself. I'll never get out of this thing, but you still have a chance. I won't leave you, Del. So what? You both end up man of food? Do it! Adam, save yourself! Adam waits for the mana to finish them off. Two helpless victims trapped in the net. To his surprise, the Flesh Eater only circles them. I know how to get out of here. I know. Let me do it. Okay, we have a sharp thing. We can cut ourselves out of the net. Adam maneuvers the sharp shell around and begins to rub it against the nylon net. Shell sols through the nylon, loosening the nuts grass on Adam. He's free. Uh. You did it, Adam. How now get out of here fast? 
Are you crazy? What kind of friend do you think I am? Adam turns his back frantically to cut loose his friend. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh no. But before you can free Delphinius, Flesh Eater swoops in, enraged to see one of his victims escape, and determined not to lose the other, he seizes the net with poor Delphinius still in it. Crap. And knocks Adam aside with one flick of his huge wing. Oh man. Egg on it. Adam, find Cetus! Only he can save me now! Delphinius. He might be a dork, but he's lovable. Adam finds himself suddenly alone. The drift net with its precious cargo and the monster are gone. What on earth, Adam thinks, can he do now? What can we do? Well, we can go back and try to open that door. That's probably what I was thinking, like, we have to do it after. after and will we ever see Delphinius again? No, that's the end. We never see him again. Okay, let's go back and see if we can get in that. I don't can't take the time to think about anything but missing friend right now. Okay. We can't even look at things. I didn't mean to do that anyway, but... All right. Let's go back and see if we can't get that door open on the sunken ship. Boy, there sure are a lot of... Uh, a lot of wreckage down here. Go in that cave. I'm gonna eat this pie. Oh, come on. Do what I tell you. Now, up through... It's still glowing green, but I guess, you know, once it's pretending to be radioactive, then it's got to continue to be pretending. Up through the hole. And up this way. Okay, now we're going to use the trident on the door to open it up. Bring. I don't know if I ever got this far when I played the game as a kid. Adam wedges the trident under the crack of the bloated ship's door and pushes on the handle as hard as he can. The waterlogged wood suddenly gives way and the door pops free of its frame. Whew! The cable that had been jammed under the door suddenly jerks tight as though pulled by a mighty weight. It sounds like a whale. And through the open ship's door, Adam hears a sound. A sound unmistakably sad. Unmistakably deep. Unmistakably haunting. Unmistakably a whale's call. Oh, goodness. Well, let's get in there. Cetus, are you in there? Are you dead? Oh, this was a whaling ship. I bet they caught him. The whale call is louder here. It's echoing down from somewhere above the ship. He probably dragged the ship down since he's such a bat, uh, awesome guy. Whatever's on the other end of that cable is too big for Adam to haul in from here. Okay, well, I guess we have to swim. I was going to try to, like, pull myself along the rope, but... Adam holds his breath with anticipation and swims up to investigate. He probably wrecked the ship, but he's still caught on the line. Following the top cable up toward the surface light... Okay, I guess we're going to do that on our own without 
having to do anything. That's nice. Up and up, not looking where he's going. Why wouldn't you look where you're going? Until suddenly... Woo! Oh man, don't run into him. It's Cetus! I don't know how we missed him, he's gigantic. He's up here all along. go back to that guy. We had to swim away. I guess. I would like to swim to you, sir. With a mixture of joy and fear, Adam approaches the mighty whale. Did we go into his mouth? Oh, we just went near his mouth. Your Majesty, you're hurt. No wonder you've been missing. You're trapped here by that harpoon. Yes, child, and you are the one foretold. I fear you may be too late. But what happened? What happened? How did you get harpooned? It was Flesh Eater. I heard him cry out and went to help. He tricked me into the whaler's path. Can't you get free? You can't just die. Alaria needs you. The harpoon holds me fast. I cannot get out of get it out of my mouth. I'm so weak I have not long. Cetus sinks into unconsciousness and his great eye shuts. The harpoon wound has become infected and is near starvation from being trapped in this one spot. Cetus is getting weaker by the moment. Oh man, what can we do? Uh, oh, we have the saw. Let's get this harpoon off of him. Cutting the harpoon at this end would be useless since the barbed head would still be in Cetus' mouth. What? So, how do we, oh, oh, his mouth's open, so from here Adam can see that the unconscious sea's jaw is grown slack. His mouth opens and it closes in a regular rhythm. So we need to swim in there whenever it's open. Like now. Like now. Touch it. Adam decides to make a dash for Cetus's moving mouth. Quickly. Woo! Man, we almost got chomped. Oh man. We just missed. Adam will have to time his approach to the mouth more carefully if he's going to get inside. Alright, so... Maybe like... Now? There we go. I think we got it. Alright, now we can saw... Saw his... Harpoon off. Grab it, grab it! Okay, at least it fell there and not into his stomach. Adam uses the industrial saw to cut through the harpoon shaft. The barbed harpoon had falls to the bottom of the sea. Okay, well, I think we're going to stop the video here. I think we'll be able to finish the video, or the game, in the next video. So, anxiously await the ending in the next video of EcoQuest 1, Search for Cetus. Until then, I'm Paul Bobrickens, and we will see you then.